I love it. You do? So you will make my story into a movie? Sure, sure. An outright winner. It did need a few minor alterations. Alterations? Nothing major. Bring in a revised script, please. What's, what's wrong with my story? It's too simple. No oomph. Um, look here, this is your scene. A young woman named Mary is working in her home. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appears to her. Hail, you are blessed among women. The Lord is with you. Who are you? What are you talking about? Get out of my house. If you're not Mary, you have pleased God. I have? You shall have a child and shall name him Jesus. Me? Have a baby? He shall be called the son of the highest. And God will give him the throne of David. His kingdom will never end. But that's preposterous. I can't have a baby. I'm not married. I don't have a husband. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The child born of you will be called the son of God. What's wrong with scene one? Ha. Huh. Well, in the first place, you have Mary doing housework. What kind of job is that for a female lead? She needs something more glamorous, more exciting. Corporate vice president, lawyer, something high powered. But she was a humble peasant. Peasant schmezzin? No way. For heaven's sake, she's about to be the mother of the son of God. And then there's the bit about the baby. Who would think she'd be remotely worried about having a baby before she's married? But she was worried. She was very worried. You don't understand. But I do understand, kid. I know what sells. Listen, kid, the thing's too simple. No production value. I need some pizzazz. So let's cut that scene. Replace it with Caesar's Palace. Colour. Excitement. There'll be jugglers. Acrobats. There'll be clowns, musicians. Suddenly, Caesar enters. I need to make a decree. If you had 36.8 degrees, you'd be fine. Decree, not degree, fool. Be gone, send me a scribe. Scribe! I hereby decree that all people shall go back to their ancestors' towns so that all the world could be counted and, of course, taxed. Well, that's a good day's work. I think I'll have a nap. Cut. Now, that's what I call an opening scene. It has it all. The audience will be riveted to their seats. But it spends too much time on Caesar in his palace. Too much time on Caesar? Kids, Caesar was the most important man there was. Improved the world. You can't spend too much time on Caesar. Yeah, but in this story, there's only one reason he's mentioned. Kid. His decree calls prophecy to be fulfilled. It meant that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Kid, kid, listen to me. My way's better. Take a little time to think it over. You'll see I'm right. Let's look at another scene. The one in Bethlehem. Okay, so Joseph took his wife, Mary, and they traveled to Bethlehem. But they arrived late, and there was no room in the end. Awfully late. Do you think we'll find a room? We'll find a room. We'll find a room in Desenin. You 
and thousands of others. Move on. I got no room. But we must have room. I'm about to have a baby. We all got problems. You two are having a baby and I'm having a nervous breakdown. Beat it. I got no room. Any place will do. Read my lips. No room. Hey, mister. This ain't much, but it's all I can do. The stable just round the corner. You maybe can find some clean straw and somewhere to lie down. But it don't smell too good. It is a stable. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We'll take it. What's wrong with that scene? This Joseph guy, he's supposed to be the hero, right? Oh, kind of. You make him look daft, stupid. Can you imagine not checking online for reservations or phoning ahead? But they did not have mobile or the internet back then. Ha, minor details. This is show business. Here's how the scene should play. It's awfully late. We'll find a room, there's an inn. You and thousands of others, move on. I got no room. But I made reservations yesterday on my Julia Express credit card. <laughs> Mary and Joseph of Helly, oh yeah. Excuse me, sir, for not recognizing you. We have the Empress Suite all ready for you and your charming wife. Best we have. The Julian Express credit card. Never leave Nazareth without it. No, isn't that better? The heroine gets a better place in which to have her baby. And now Joseph looks like a real hero. And plus, you get to consider these things. A credit card company will chip in a bundle for the product placement. But that's not what happened. Hey, kid. Are we making a movie or writing a history book? Mm, now here's a scene we really like. Amazing. A scene you actually plan to leave alone. Sure, kid. The shepherd's out in the field. watch you do I always have first watch why me because you're the youngest don't be afraid I bring you great news of joy who are you I am a messenger of the most highest God today in the city of David a, ch a savior has been born a savior how will we know him there are thousands of people in Bethlehem tonight this will be a sign to you you'll find the baby wrapped in cloth lying in a manger Let's go to Bethlehem and see the child. I can't believe you're leaving the scene as it actually is. Well, we are making a few minor improvements. Such as? Well, we have to tie it to the changes in the other scenes. So... You'll find the baby wrapped in the finest linen money can buy. In a crib at the inn, the Emperor's suite, of course. But I keep telling you, it did not happen that way. It will in our movie. And you know, if we're gonna have angels, we need some special effects. I've got some terrific ones planned. Like what? First, they'll zoom in like rockets through the sky. Horrible looking, ghastly faces, fangs. Then one shepherd looks up when he shouldn't and his face melts, yeah, melts. Why would the angels want to harm the shepherd? They're there to announce good news. The Savior is born. There's joy, not death. Never let the facts interfere with the special effects. That's my motto. I don't know about this. Trust me, I know the movie business. We'll have a hit. Just listen to this last scene. You'll see what I mean. 
Here's how you have written it. Expecting you, wise woman. Your Majesty. I most certainly am your Majesty. What do you want? I'm a busy, busy king. We've come to present our gifts to the newly born king. New king? The one whose star we have seen in the east. Impossible! If there were a new king, I would have been the first to hear about it. But there must be a new king. We saw a star. Well, I'm certain you're mistaken, but I'll find out. God! Tell my advisors to go look to see where this new king is supposed to be born. Go. Meanwhile, why don't you show me your gifts? We bought gifts fit for a king. We bought gold. And frankincense. And myrrh. Wonderful gifts. I love them. God! Ah, I have the information you need. They say that the new king will be born in Bethlehem. Go find him. When you have found him, come back here and tell me, so that I may, um, uh, um, worship him as well. As your, your majesty, majesty wishes. Guard, get the soldiers ready. When they come back, we shall go to Bethlehem with them. And I shall give the king a little gift his own personal beheading. Mwah, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's right. And then the wise men are warned in a dream not to return Herod. What's wrong with that? It's not so much that part. It's what happens next. All those babies killed in Bethlehem. You wouldn't kill a bunch of shepherds. <gasps> yeah, but that's different. These are babies. You can't kill babies on a Christmas movie. Are you insane? People never buy tickets. We need a good, warm, happy ending. <coughs> Here's what we'll do. Your Majesty. I most certainly am your Majesty. What do you want? I'm a busy, busy king. We've come to present our gifts to the newly born king. Gifts? No one gives me gifts anymore. Perhaps your subjects no longer love you. <laughs> it's right. They don't. You need to change. <laughs> That's it. I do. God, collect up all my possessions. Get a bag of gold and we'll give it to the newborn king. Give everything else to the poor people. Oh, and tell the cook to get the biggest, fattest goose he can find. I'm going to take it to the house of that poor scribe. You know, the one with the lame son. You are most generous to your, to your people, people, your majesty. I can see how wrong I've been. Come, we'll all go to Bethlehem together and worship this new king. Then we'll come back here and have a Christmas dinner. Perfect. That's exactly the kind of heartwarming ending a Christmas movie needs. But it's all wrong. 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 Nonsense. It'll sell. <sighs> Mister! Ooh, what do you want, kid? Your movie is all wrong. What do you mean, wrong? How do you know? You're just a kid. Because my mom and dad read, read me the story read the story to me already from this book. What book? It's a Bible. Mm. Never heard of it.
into the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Humbug! It's too simple. Never sell. Thank you.